So today we are looking at a new mechanics gadget. Before I started recording this video, I was kind of thinking to myself what, what actually makes a new tool a gadget and not just a tool. And it got me got me thinking, because you know, at, at some point in time, you know, a ratchet was a gadget. And it got, got me thinking, you know, it's kind of like religion. You go back far enough in time, Christianity, Christianity was a cult and now, now it's a religion because enough people adopted it and there, there, there's people all over the world doing it. So I, I think that's, that's kind of what we're going to classify things as a gadget. But getting into it, we have this here uh, Eco Loop funnel that uh, I saw someone talking about on short media. So uh, I thought maybe this could be handy for myself and some of you all out there. And um, yeah, basically what it is is just a funnel that will screw on to the bottle that you're trying to fill up, oil jugs, antifreeze, I'm guessing. Um, according to the old grandpa specs on, like I said, it is the screw-on funnel, uh, Eco Loop. I'm not 100% sure what makes it Eco, maybe because you don't spill oil. I don't know. It's kind of like a corporate buzzword that people like to use. Uh, there is a sticker that was added on to this. It says, does not currently work with Valvoline 5 quart. Update coming soon. I can't wait. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much marketing stuff going on here. There's some instructions as to as to how the, the thing works. And uh, that's about it. It is made in China. Yeah, so let's take it out of the package, take a look at it. And I got a bunch of oil containers that I have sitting in my truck. I would say they're probably more common, at least I know for for the U.S. market. And um, yeah, let's see what it hooks up to. All right, well, this is it out of the package here. Um, well, let's go over some of the features. Uh, this part right here unscrews, apparently. And sticking that inside there gives you the ability to make it so this thing isn't dripping in your toolbox or wherever the hell you store this thing. Um, right here is a vent on and off. I could say it's got, it's nice, it's kind of hard to quantify this in a video, but it feels solid. So i give it that much. I said that's on and off. And then I'm assuming these are your various adapters here. Yeah, it looks like you got one, two thread types on the end there. And then another thread type sitting down here, which again th screws into there. And then you got a, so this would be a fourth style thread that would go into there and the, and the whole concept is you put your bottle in here, pop the vent, stick that in the hole. Oh, that comes off too. It gives you a little bit of a, that might be useful for uh, doing differentials. A smaller spout and a larger spout. So um, yeah, I was saying the concept is you put this, uh, put your jug of choice inside there, you stick that in the hole and kind of hold Hold this up and fill her up. So let's uh, get some bottles out and see what it'll actually hook up to because they're claiming 98% of bottles. I'm not sure what those 2% are, but um, yeah, let's do that. All right, well, let's start off with probably one of the more common ones, which would be a quart jug of um, 1030 motor oil. I'm gonna break the uh, break the old seal here. And I'm guessing it's going to be the smallest one, which is this here green guy. And that would be the inner ring that it would hook up to. And a little fiddly. Couldn't think of a good way of doing this. Um, yeah, seems to work pretty good on quart jugs. Now, we got the notoriously difficult to fill, which is these little jugs of blinker fluid. I know when I use these, I just get the stuff all over the place. This one's empty, so we don't have to worry about spilling oil all over my bench. But I'm assuming this is going to be the same as the regular old oil quart jug, which it is. And, um, yeah, that works. So, 
Um, I know from experience that the quart jugs pretty much are all the same, whether it's motor oil or uh, gear oil, what have you. So um, yeah, that pretty much covers every quart jug I've ever used. Now getting into bigger containers, I guess we'll start off with here. And I got a 1030 gallon jug. The uh, seal is still on there. And um, maybe this one. Nope. Too big. I'll try this one here. And yes. That does seem to work on that. So your standard quartz and your small mouth gallons seems to work on so far. Now we're getting into more large mouth containers. This would be a gallon of uh, ISO 32 uh, hydraulic oil. And I know it won't work on this one, so we're going to have to try one of the adapters. This thing's kind of in my face, isn't it? Um, that adapter is too small. Let's try the biggest adapter that comes with it. And that adapter is also too small. Am I missing something here? Oh wow, I just discovered a secret unlock. You can unscrew this green thing from here and get even a bigger one. I was about ready to say this thing sucks because that's what I use. <laughs> could use this most for is filling up hydraulic tanks. And um, it still doesn't screw on. Yeah, that's not me. That's this thing. Is it? No, that's definitely not screwing on. All right, so wide mouth hydraulic jugs, it will not screw on to. All right, now my next favorite thing would be some regular old 50-50 antifreeze here. Hopefully it works on this because that could actually come in handy. And yes, it does. That's the green adapter and then stick it on there. So yes, it will work on a standard antifreeze jug. Now, last but not least, a bottle of windshield wiper fluid. Not so important with these. I mean, it's just water and soap, basically. So if you run into that problem, I mean, me personally, I just kind of do my best and dump it and whatever ends up on the ground ends up on the ground. So it's just soap and water. And it would appear that the green adapter, again, will work on that. So that's cool. You know what, now that we got this off, I was trying to think of a way how I would demonstrate this thing actually working, hoping that it would fit on one of these jugs here. And um, yeah, let's go fill up the uh, windshield wiper fluid in the old truck there and see this guy in action. All right, we got it set up with the old 5500 Silverado here. Kind of a bad viewing angle. I got sun blasting in on it, so hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here. Windshield wiper fluid reservoir down here. We got the contraption in all its glory. We need to pull that to vent it. And we're about half full on this thing, so I guess we'll just top it off. No leaks, which is a good sign. On a nice cold day, 1540 is going to be coming out of this sink nice and slow. And tip it down, stops the flow. There you go. So there we go. That is the Eco Loop screw on funnel. Um, like I said, I bought this. I saw it. It popped up. I said, that's kind of interesting looking. 
I want to pick it up, give it a try. Um, little recap, uh, seems like quart containers, it, it, it does fine with, um, it's kind of a mixed bag with the gallon uh, containers of oil. As far as the, the wide mouth goes, I don't know, maybe that, that one that I was looking at with the hydraulic oil kind of fits underneath the, uh, the Valvoline uh, five quart uh, category that these aren't covered in. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's, it's a decent enough thing. Um, like I said, I like how it kind of is self-contained. So when you're done using it, you can stick it on the shelf. You might want to, I don't know if you, if you really want to be anal about it. You might want to have two of these, one for oil and one for water-based stuff. I guess I just took this and I kind of did the old Indiana Jones lasso technique and it seemed to get most of that uh, um, uh, widget wiper fluid. That's the word that I was looking for. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to throw it in. This will be in another video at some point in time when I give my final thoughts on it. Like I said, it's kind of hard for me to judge it just taking it out of the package. One thing I was worried about was the um, uh, vent here leaking. Um, didn't seem to link, uh, leak uh, with windshield wiper fluid, so it's probably the thinnest thing you're ever going to put through this. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. It kind of, like I said, when you get, you get that 1540, you're pouring down an engine. On a, on a nice cold day um it's probably going to be pretty slow and especially with this thing you know gonna have the thing above your head while you're trying to trying to get it to pour in but like i said you don't know until you actually use it this thing isn't going to replace my my regular funnels i'm still going to use those i'm going to use this mostly for those hard to get spots or those places where you know the engineer didn't consider ever needing to put oil into an engine or a hydraulic tanker or, or what have you and um yeah, we'll see how it goes. If you would like to play along, um, I'm going to put a link to this in the description. Um, I will, I don't have five gallon containers of, of uh, oil in my van. So next time I'm at the shop, I'll screw one, I'll see if this will screw on there. I will put that in the description, whether or not it works on five gallon jugs. It'd actually be kind of nice for five gallon jugs because it's always with the funnels and the big, thing and you're knocking the funnel over and you're getting crap all over the place so yeah i'll, I'll let you know in the uh, description whether or not this screws on to uh five gallon pails of oil and um yeah i think that's about it for this guy um questions comments concerns leave them down in the old comment section there i'll do my best to get back to you and uh i'd like to thank you for watching there you go